In our previous video, we studied what mathematical statements are, but do we know how they are denoted? Yes, mathematical statements are generally denoted using lowercase letters like P, Q, R and so on. So it can also be written as this. Pretty simple, isn't it? Now that we've understood mathematical statements completely, let's try and understand the negation of a statement. Okay, so what does the word negation tell you? Yes, it's the negative of something. So for example, if I say the earth is round in shape, then what will be the negation of this statement? Yes, the negation would be the earth is not round in shape. Now consider this example. What will be the negation of this statement? Will it be Jordan is short? Not really. Remember that negation is just the negative of a statement. That is, we just deny the statement, but we don't say the opposite of that statement. So the correct answer would be Jordan is not tall. Okay, let's take one more example for clarity. Consider this statement. What will be the negation of this statement? Mango is a fruit. No, that isn't correct. Here too, we should not correct the statement. We just deny it. So the correct answer would be mango is not a vegetable. So this brings us to the definition of negation. The negation of a statement is nothing but the denial of a statement. Now, if you've been attentive, I'm sure you must have noticed this in the negation statement. Can you guess what it is? Yes, the negation of a statement is denoted by adding tilde to the letter with which the actual statement is denoted. If the actual statement is denoted with P, the negation would be denoted by tilde P. And similarly, if the actual statement is denoted by R, the negation would be tilde R, and so on. Now that we've understood the relatively easier examples, let's take it one notch higher. Consider this example. All the vehicles have four wheels. What will be the negation of this statement? Will it be no vehicle has four wheels? No, that wouldn't be correct. Because negating does not imply writing the opposite. So it could be some vehicles have four wheels. This wouldn't be correct either. Why? Remember, we don't correct the statement, but just negate the statement. This is getting interesting. Can you give it one more try? How about all the vehicles do not have four wheels? Here we negating the sentence, right? What? Even this cannot be the negation of this statement. Confused? Let me explain why. Here we're talking about a group. That is, a group of vehicles and not a particular vehicle or a single entity. In such cases, there is a simple solution to find the negation. As a first step, we just add the phrase, it's not the case or it's false that to the start of the statement. So in this case, the statement would be, it's false that all the vehicles have four wheels. Or, it's not the case that all the vehicles have four wheels. Now we come to the second step, that is, finding the negation of the statement. Can you tell me what these two statements imply? It means that there is at least one vehicle which does not have four wheels. So, the correct way of writing the negation of such statements is, there exists at least one vehicle which does not have four wheels. This is the negation of this statement. Let's take one more example for better understanding. What will be the negation of this statement? Here, we are talking about a group of numbers. Hence, the negation would be, there exists a number whose square is positive. Let me give you a few more examples to work on. Here they are. What do you think the negation of these statements would be? Leave your answers below. And in the next video, we'll see what compound statements are.